So um, for everyone who has been in the previous town hall, uh, you may recall that we had a sneak peek related to this feature. Uh, we didn't get to present at that time, but I did record a video for it. Uh, this is going to be just a completion of that presentation. So for folks that don't know, one of the things that we are looking for uh, is to remove schema registry entirely as an external component to Data Hub. And the reason why we want to do this is because it's a highly requested community ask. Uh, it reduces operational overhead. It unlocks uh, some of our adopters, particularly because it removes the need for a Confluent uh, license to be able to deploy Data Hub uh, in production in certain scenarios. So that will no longer be the case. Um, and as a future bonus, it opens the way for Data Hub to actually become a full-on complete schema registry replacement. Um, that's something that will, will could be built in the future. It depends on where we want to take this effectively. Um, so for this feature in particular, what we're focusing on is just for internal usage, uh, which means that we just want to give Data Hub's internal Kafka producers and consumers knowledge on how to process the internal messages from within Data Hub itself. As Data Hub is, for all intents and purposes, a metadata store, uh, this makes, in our mind, perfect sense to do. And how do we want to do it? From an implementation perspective, what we're going to do for full backwards compatibility is to partially, and the keyword here is partially, implement Confluence Open API spec for the schema registry. And there is a link in this presentation for anyone who's interested, I can share it out, but you, um, I think we shared the slides afterwards, so you'll have the link anyway. And this means that there is absolutely no need to implement custom serializers and deserializers. So it's just a plop-in replacement. We just take out schema reg registry as an external component and things should just work. That's the gist of it. However, this in initial version is not meant to be a fully compliant schema registry implementation, and it is only for Data Hub's internal messaging formats. That's something that we can look to into the future, uh, as I said, naturally subject to change. Uh, from an architectural perspective, what this looks like is if you take, for instance, the ingest proposal uh, flow of data, which is the typical one when you want to push data into Data Hub, is you have some event with metadata, you, under the hood, this will call an ingest proposal endpoint, which generates a metadata change proposal event that we store into Kafka. Uh, and then, then that gets uh, processed by our MAE uh, consumers, which will update Data Hub's um, databases, uh, which then allows you to actually search and see things in the UI. Obviously, uh, in these two blue code blocks, uh, there is a direct dependency on the registry. Uh, every single time that you need to read data or write data into Kafka for Data Hub, you would have that requirement. This was an external component, which now it isn't. It's actually part of GMS itself. But let me make it more visible for you guys. So demo time. Praying to the demo gods that this works. Um, what I'm going to do is run Docker Quick Start. Uh, this is a very particular version because it's still a work in progress. Um, but uh, you will see, and I actually have um, my images here. I don't know if this is very small or not. So let me actually zoom this in. You will see we have front end, an actions pod, GMS, Kafka, the setup jobs for MySQL and Elasticsearch, uh, MySQL, Zookeeper, and Elasticsearch. So no schema registry here. I'm not lying to anybody. I'm not running anything else. This is everything that I have in my terminal. Um, so let's just give it a minute for these images to be uh, loaded up. This shouldn't really take very long. Uh, so let's just give it a little minute here. And I will show you how this will open up in the browser. So it's not yet up, just front end. So just giving here one quick minute. If anyone has any questions at this time, feel free to uh, post them in chat and I will look into them. Okay, here we go. Data Hub is completely uh, deployed. Again, no registry here. Um, that's an old version, sorry. There's nothing here. So allow me 
to log in into Data Hub. As you see, we have a completely clean slate instance. There's absolutely nothing running here. So let me run just an ingest action, uh, which everybody should be able to run directly from their CLI. This will load up some data into Data Hub. So if I refresh this page, here we go. We actually have data loading in. Um, one thing to note is that as part of this PR, the way that we actually implemented this, because it's using the open API spec, you will now see um, some more endpoints on our Swagger documentation. And this is all exactly what we have on Confluent site. So yeah, that's uh, effectively it from the demo. Now, when and how can you use it? The PR is still a work in progress. We're trying to do a tentative release uh, mid career. So this should be coming in the next release, hopefully. It will come enabled by default on all quick start deployments. For Kubernetes, this will be locked behind some environment, uh, environment variables, but we will uh, be releasing documentation with this for anybody who wants to try it out. Uh, for now, uh, because this feature is so new, we do suggest keeping the regular schema registry deployment mode, at least in production, uh, for at least one release whilst we have time to uh, mature this feature. And that's it, Maggie, from my side. Amazing. I know there are a ton of folks in uh, in the community that have been eagerly awaiting this. Um, so Pedro, thank you for your persistent work on it. Um, thank you to the full platform team, Ryan and uh, David on the Acral side for uh, really just pushing this through. I know it's been it's been an undertaking to say the least and um, very excited for us to make some serious progress on it.